Hello everyone. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on analog modulation. Our topic for today's discussion is on amplitude modulation equation. This will be the part two series discussion. The earlier on series part one, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you're keen to know more about amplitude modulation. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe buttons. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much. I have shown you this diagram of my previous video. So this is a amplitude modulation. At the input of the amplitude modulation is the modulating signal and also the carrier. Like what I mentioned earlier on, this video, I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on equation. The modulating signal is a cosine wave. And this waveform can be described by this equation over here. This EM is the V pit of the modulating signal, as indicated from here to here. This will be the V pit, which denotes as EM. So this is a cosine term, 2 pi FM. FM is the frequency of the modulating signal. So this is how I can express my modulating signal in an equation. Let's move on to the carrier signal. So this carrier signal is classified as not yet carry the information. So this is a unmodulated carrier signal. So from this diagram here, you can see that this carrier signal has a constant amplitude, which is denoted by EC. Okay, again, it has a frequency of FC, so this is how we can express the equation for a carrier signal. Next, let's move on to the modulated signal. So this is a modulated signal, which means that the modulating signal appeared exactly at the envelope of the modulated signal and is governed by this equation. So this is our objective for this video. We're going to understand how can we arrive on the equation of the modulated signal. Okay, again, let's quickly revisit. So this is a modulating signal. This is the V pit of the modulating signal with a frequency of FM. This is the carrier signal. Carrier has a amplitude of EC, and this is the frequency of a carrier signal. How can we express them in a modulated signal? Okay, remember for modulated signal, we actually change the amplitude. Okay, if you take a look on this diagram, this is exactly the same frequency of the carrier signal, but we only alter the amplitude according to the modulating signal. Can you still recall this? This is a modulated signal. You can see that this part is the one that we change with according to the modulating signal. And this is how we arrive at this modulated signal. You can see from here, this equation, the frequency is intact. They still have the frequency of the carrier frequency. But you can see from here, the amplitude is actually changed and is in fact changed according to the shape of the modulating signal. So we are also ready to do this part. Open up the bracket. So this EC multiplied by cosine 2 pi FCT, which is here. Okay, so this modulating signal multiplied by this cosine 2 pi FCT. Next, I can substitute my modulating signal. My modulating signal is equal to EM cosine 2 pi FMT. So this part here, I substitute into here, which result I get this equation here. And if you take a close look, this is cosine cosine term. And we have learned this in mathematics. Cosine cosine, I can actually express in this term. The motivation to do this is because I want to express this 
in a frequency domain later on. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. How can I draw this in a frequency domain? Okay, so from here, this cosine, cosine, this is cosine, cosine. I need to transform them into this term here. This term appeared over here. So this EM, I need to do a divide by 2. So this is EM divided by 2 here. So this is minus FC minus FM is here. Okay, another term is the FC plus FM is, is here. So this is the equation of the modulated signal. Okay, so this is easily can be plotted in a frequency domain. This is the equation that I've shown it to you. Okay, and most of the time, okay, we actually would like to express this as a modulation index. Modulation index is in fact is equal to EM modulating amplitude over the carrier amplitude. So from here, I actually can replace this EM with MEC. Can you see here? I didn't do much. I just changed the EM to MEC over here. So with this, later on, you realize that I'm ready to draw the frequency domain. Okay, so let's quickly visit the modulating signal. So this modulating signal, okay, I can actually express them in equation, in time domain, and also frequency domain. So this is what I have illustrated earlier on. This is how it looked like in a time domain. In frequency domain, you can see that they only have one term okay, at the frequency of FM with the amplitude of EM. So this is the amplitude. This is the frequency with only one frequency item in a frequency domain. Next, on a carrier signal. Okay, So this is the equation for the carrier signal. This is how it looked like in a time domain with a higher frequency as compared to the modulating signal. Again, in the frequency domain, okay, I can see that I only have one term here. So with an amplitude of EC, with a frequency of FC here. Next, this is the equation for the modulated signal. Okay, so this is what I have arrived earlier on. So this is the equation to describe a modulated signal. This is how it look like in a time domain. In a frequency domain, you can see that there are actually one term, two term, and three term. This term is actually appeared over here. The first term, okay, which is the EC, having the frequency of FC. Second term here, okay, they have the amplitude of MEC over two, okay, which is shown here. The frequency is FC minus FM, which is shown here. Next term is FC plus FM. Okay, the frequency is shown here. Amplitude is also MEC over 2. Okay, so this is how does the modulated signal look like in a frequency domain. Okay, very quickly, okay, we can also express the amplitude modulation equation in another form. Okay, so this is the modulating signal equation. This is the carrier signal. Okay, earlier on we have done this. This is the modulated signal. So the modulated signal actually change the amplitude of the carrier with according to the modulating signal. So this is what I need to do. I just open up the bracket. I substitute the EMT, which is this part here. I substitute inside. Okay, so I know that this is the modulation index, okay, which is equals to M equals to EM over EC. Okay, so therefore I can express this term here. EC cosine 2 pi FC, what I need to do is I just change this EM to MEC. I take the common factor, which is EC cosine 2 pi FCT here. So this is equal to 1 now. So plus M. This red color part I take into the front. So therefore, this is also another expression to describe the modulated signal. With this, I like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.